Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, June 1st edition of the Asia Pacific Community Call. Um, I'm Elizabeth. I'm the community manager here at Chaos and not usually the one that facilitates these, but um, I get that honor today. So yay me. Uh, let me just change my name here so everybody knows who I am. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. The minutes are in the chat. So if you uh, want to add your name to the list of attendees, that would be great. Um, and I will share so we can kind of just go through this agenda real quick. And thank you, Matt G, for putting the agenda together already. So it's pretty Makes easy. It's pretty easier, yeah. yeah, right. Um, okay, so first things first, we want to welcome any newcomers to the community. Do we have anybody here that is new? I think everybody's name looks pretty familiar to me. Me, second time. Awesome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I, I saw you, I think in Slack, also say hello. Is that right? Okay. Do you wanna tell us a little about what you do, what you, where you work, what anything about you? A little introduction. Well, I work at Nanjing University, China, and I'm an associate professor at the Department of Computer Science and Technology, Nanjing University. Awesome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And uh, I used to research do research about uh, human activity recognition using wearable sensors. I think I introduced myself last time. Oh, okay. And now we are turning into um, collective intelligence and uh, the crowd behavior of open source uh, teams. Yeah. I think that uh, those things are extremely fascinating. My degree is in organizational behavior. So I think that's really super interesting stuff is when you get, bring people together, how they interact and how they produce work and collaborate and all of those things, because it's kind of complex. And I think that's really neat. So welcome, really glad to hear, have you here. Thank you. Um, okay, so the next thing that Matt had on the agenda was the status of this repository. Does anybody know about this? Um, that's actually from me. So I oh, was, sorry, I, was so, I was, well, it's okay. I was talking with um, some of the folks at uh, Grimoire Lab, and I know that uh, some Grimoire Lab hooks have been built in for Giddy, and we were just wondering if these, these this repository is, or this is still being used, this, this open metrics code org. Does anyone know? Nobody knows. So it's a Giddy repository. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, my understanding is that what what's going on here is that there's Giddy versions of some of the Grimoire Lab tools that have been developed. Um, and I think Yahui oh, may, may have been involved in this, or maybe not. But somewhere along the line, th these got built, and we are looking for. Um, an understanding of their state of utility or use right now. And if nobody on this call knows, we can just uh, bring this up next time. Yuhui says he's got a bad connection, so he may not, Yuhui might be the person we need to talk to, and uh, he's not able to talk today. So we can just move on from this and put it on the agenda for next time. Uh, maybe Shen Xi could. Yes, and um, um, this uh, um, this tool is being used uh, now. Um, we have developed uh, um, some uh, 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 developed it from Grimmer Lab, and uh, we use it on Giti. Uh, we have a tutorial in the repository uh, Grimmer Lab in this in this in this organization. Okay. Uh, mm, now uh, we also add some other tools uh, like uh, to uh, analyze uh, survey QQ and others. 
Okay. I th I th so one one thought that um, Daniel and I had when we were talking is if this is so we created these um, these were created because Grimoire Lab didn't want to and still probably doesn't want to own the technical debt of maintaining something that was created one time that might not be used again. But if it's still being used, I think it would be great if some of the utility for Git he was added through a pull request back into Grimoire Lab, um, either as like a plugin, so or as a, a separate repository under Chaos if it needs to be separate. Um, not knowing what all code is in there, if it's like a full copy of Percival plus the Giddy stuff. Um, and I don't know if you would know Shankui, but if if it is just that, maybe the part that is Giddy can be added back in somehow as a plugin in the Chaos repo. That was kind of the hope or thought. If it's if that's if it's being used and that is possible. Uh, okay. Uh, and we don't need an answer like right here. <laughs> mm, we will try to um, get a um, pull request um, to uh, contribute uh, this uh, repo to Grimmer Lab. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. That, that's, the, that's the end of the question. And um, awesome. thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Shankui. <laughs> thank Thanks, you. Hui, for um, navigating us through that from a te text message. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, OK, so um, the next item is the Google Summer of Code metrics models. Um, we did want to just welcome all of our Google Summer of Code and um, Outreachy and Google Season of Docs. We have three mentorship programs that are all starting at the same time. So <laughs> we have a lot of students participating right now, um, which is awesome. So here is uh, who we have, I think 11, did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 students working on various parts of chaos and with the various programs. So congratulations to all of them. We also have, um, I, I don't remember this happening in the past, but maybe it has. Um, we, we seem to have a fairly, um, I won't say large, but we have a, quite a few um, students who had applied and did not get into the program, but would like to still continue to contribute, which is amazing, I think. So um, good job for all of them as well. Um, thank you, Yahui, for putting that list in. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give Matt the credit and I will give you the credit instead. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have a few that are working on um, some metrics models stuff, a, a lot of documentation work as well. So um, congratulations. Anything to add on that, Yohoi? We can give you a minute to type, that's totally fine. <laughs> Yes, so um, Yuhu is working with Tai Wei, who is um, working on the conversion rate metric, as you can see that. And Mabel is also working um, on the conversion rate metric model as well. Um, okay, so if there's nothing else, does anyone have questions about anything that I can answer? Okay. Um, awesome. Thank you, Yahoi, for also giving support to Mabel as well. I know, I think you have a few mentors on that project, right? Hopefully. <laughs> How to get started with the other mentors? Um, that's a great question. I feel like maybe Slack is a good um, is a good place to start mm -hmm. uh, coordinating with the, the mentors that are on your specific project, and then you can figure you know you can decide however you want to um, coordinate with each other. If it if it's asynchronously through you know just a, a 
private messages on Slack, if it is in you know real time. Um, if you do need the chaos Zoom channel, just let me know and I'll block time off um, so that nobody you know interrupts you. Um, whatever you need to, uh, to support, it might be, maybe maybe it's even email. So whatever works the best for your team, I think is 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 a great way to go. And there's King. Welcome, King. Good to see you. Okay. Hi. 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 It's last time no see. Well, uh, good so to see you. I'm glad to see you. Everybody uh, going well. Be keep safe, be safe, and uh, be, be health. I'm glad to see you again. Yeah. Likewise. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm late uh, for today's meeting, and uh, because I just uh, from another meeting and uh, travel to uh, tra travel to my hotel and uh, access the meeting uh, a little bit late. <laughs> Never too late. Never too late. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to um, talking about metrics models. Uh, we have a template here. Um, does someone want to talk about this a little more? I'll pull that up here. This is the latest version of the metrics model template. But I think this is refined following several discussions and the idea is that um, met the bet you're basically listing the why it matters in user stories at the top, and then the metrics in the model is an enumeration of the chaos metrics that are going to be used. Right. And the data insights are kind of a specification that are going to be of, of what we're going to build in the implementation. So it, it's specifying what kinds of insights we expect um, to be to be um, created through the generation of this metric model. And I, I confess I'm not quite sure what the insights drawn from the metrics model and the metric specific insights drawn from the metrics model distinction is. Um, I guess there might be some granularity implied there. It seems like it. But I don't know if we've used this. I don't think we've actually used this template fully. In a, in a metrics model yet, although the the one there might be that one that Yahui and um, Shinkui built, I believe, where they came up with the three directory structure. Okay, here's it looks like there's a working example here in the. Oh yeah, that would be look, easier yeah, to talk to. Yeah, let's see what that is about. Oh. Yeah, that's event badging. Okay, Matt added this. So we have the why it matters, the user stories. Here are the people that would care about this stuff. Here are the metrics we're using. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's added data insights, provide text as to sample evaluation. Okay, so we would need, I'm not sure we need these sections for DM magic. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming this is, well, it is things that we will need to add, but that's how that metric model then would look at the end of it. Yeah, I think, I think probably we could, I think there's some narrative that could be put in there for the insights sure. that are expected. I, I, and I, I think, I think if we, yeah, I think if we don't have those, it's, um, yeah, if we don't have them, then we're, we're kind of making it confusing about what should be in an implementation and what should be in a metrics model. And from my perspective, and I'm curious what others think is, it seems like maybe we would want the metrics model itself to serve as kind of a guide or a specification with a lowercase s for the implementation sample. But I don't know if that's 
how other people see it. So I'm curious to hear. I think it would help to have some, you know, a little more information, maybe description, help people understand how to how to use the models. I mean, that that to me seems beneficial. I haven't been that involved in the metrics models, though, to be fair. I think uh, uh, Ye Hui said uh, inside join from Jupyter implementation. So do we have a Jupyter implementation? I think this one wouldn't be implemented in Jupyter because it's not derived from trace data. Instead, it's derived from surveys that different projects will conduct. Um, well, I, I take that back. Uh, for, for the event badging, it's actually just derived from um, peer review, from a peer review process. So there isn't trace data behind it. It's ultimately a badge that's granted by the badging team. I would agree with that. Sorry, my dogs are still barking. There's things happening outside, sorry. Um, but I would agree with that, Sean. Yeah. So there may not be a Jupyter Notebook. In fact, the implementation is going to be in the badging organization under, under GitHub. Okay, well, I'll work on adding those sections in um, just as a first draft so we can have something to go on and we'll go from there. Uh, I see um, Yuhui posted some thing in, oh, perfect. Okay, awesome. Yuhui, um, do you want to talk about this or, or Shanky, Liang, any of you, Jun? Oh, okay. Um, match model repo structure proposal. So we could see next, uh, next page. I'm, I'm actually going to stop sharing so that someone else can kind of sure. share at their page. I'm not open my picture sure. computer. I'm not open my com could you could you share your screen? Sure. About yeah. this picture. I can share the screen for you, Jun. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me share. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Great. And next page. Yes, yeah, so next page. Oh. Mm. Oh, sorry. Speaker. Uh, zoom in. I, I'm not sure how to do that. This is the largest I can get. Okay. Or I can play it. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay. Better. Okay. Proposal structure. Yes. So last uh, meeting, metric model meeting, we discussed about what the category about our metric is. So uh, we separate uh, our category, uh, metric model category about uh, um, so um, so this, this is about how to categorize our metric model. And um, like we discussed, uh, it's, uh, um, and so this is uh, um, focus error and uh, focus error, it means uh, uh, we, So focus errors, it means how to uh, select a metric model from. And uh, we also have our metric audio um, RIPS, Labs. 
to build a different arrow. So we could have our own ecosystem metric module category, and such as we can have our own own ecosystem. We separate separated our uh, ecosystem metric module to three parts. And the first is productivity. And second is robustness. And the last one is niche. So um, we, we can have our own ecosystem category, ca ca category. And uh, you can have your own category. So, so I understand there's uh, three aspects, three dimensions about an ecosystem is robustness, productivity, and niche creation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, in this three parts, and we, we also can have our, uh, in each category, we can also have uh, software artifact and uh, social like this or we, we or maybe we can have for uh, the sick the second uh, the third one so um, such as uh, uh, if we have um, productivity and uh, so we we have uh, we have our uh, Social and software, but uh, um, in Rob robust, uh, we also have uh, software artifact and uh, social. Okay. Yeah, and uh, th this is uh, uh, the metric model labs only for category your. Um, metric model and uh, uh, the next part it means how to implement uh, so we give an example for example uh, the community uh, activity it belong to it's belong to productivity and we can add it uh, in productivity and uh, for this simple, for this simple metric module, and we could have uh, uh, explain how to define it, and uh, we also give how to implement implementation and implement implement it. So the, um, we we can show a Linux uh, destruction how to implement, and we also have. Uh, Another, another way to implement it. This is, uh, and this is used about uh, Jupyter or other tool. Oh, so do we think? Your... Go ahead. Sorry, Sean, okay. please. No, um, I was just going to ask if. The focus areas are examples or if they're intended to be kind of the broad umbrellas that we use going forward. Um, this, this is kind of like uh, um, you, you, um, you can have your own folks um, folks errors okay so we can create new ones if we see the purpose yeah. for it okay yeah <clears throat> do we intend the focus area so as a practical matter are the focus areas an organizational scheme for creating metric models and the metric model libs, the models themselves, or I'm trying to fit this into my understanding of 
how chaos is already using focus areas and implementations and metrics models. And I guess it's confusing, but it's not confusing uh, because of what you did. It's confusing because of all the things we have done. <laughs> um, but, but for, but, but in company or some other, uh, some other organization, uh, they want to use the uh, focus error eyes to know how how to use it. Not, okay. So not just the um, people or some other. Uh, Shen, can you hear me right now? Yes. Oh, finally, I I I, I connected with my phone. <laughs> It's like you're right. in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. China I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, uh, answer your question. Actually, uh, as you mentioned, actually we we support uh, much more uh, a aspect to restructure our metrics model because as as you can see in the right part, we have metrics model libraries or we call it, we can call it libs. All mm -hmm. the metrics would live here. Could uh, store here and the structure as showing with uh, community activity. We have definition and definition is exactly the same the, as a uh, uh, metrics model template you just showed earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we have implementation. And the implementation, we have multiple possible ways to implement. For example, we have Linux distributions uh, from using that real, real world. Uh, com mm -hmm. uh, real world data, and also we may uh, provide some other real world community data. So we can have multiple uh, implementations uh, proposals. Mm -hmm. So in the left part, uh, we can pick up uh, some of these, some of this uh, metrics model into these uh, categories uh, from different ways. For, for example, from, uh, from, from the ecosystem point of view, we can pick up some metrics model into this ecosystem uh, and uh, if we have some other way to define the whole structures mm -hmm. we can pick up the metrics model from these lips okay uh, so you can you can you can see the uh, the picture i shown here mm -hmm. below yes. um, so so for the two uh, two different focus areas they may share the same metric model that's why i see i see yeah yeah uh, if you click the next slide, uh, you, you would find that how to uh, how to show that next 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 slide, please. Yeah, yeah, here. Uh, this is how to define the uh, uh, this ecosystem with a markdown file. Uh, uh, as you can okay. see that, and uh, for example, in robustness, we have uh, several several uh, metrics model here and mm -hmm. we just linked with uh, github uh, links uh, from right. the metrics model libs and okay. uh, also we have some references mm -hmm. some papers mm -hmm. who can support with us the, yeah. this uh, aspects so i guess so it. yeah yeah okay i got it now i understand thank you thank you yahui mm -hmm. I think I think we will have to take some time in the community meeting to explain this to the community or perhaps in the at least explain it to Kevin. Um, because Kevin's been charging down the road of trying to clarify what we mean by focus areas so why don't you just put an action item for me Elizabeth to talk to Kevin about this. And help him sure. understand where the group is coming from. We can continue discussing it in the in the community meeting and in the in the next uh, metrics model meeting. Yeah, I think Thanks. that's a good idea. Yeah. Thanks, Yuhui. And whomever else helped to develop this. Ling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have discussed a lot with uh, with uh, Chen Ji Jun and Liang yeah. uh, last week. And we we hope to give us uh, a proposal to to structure the whole metrics model. Awesome! I'm excited.
Okay, I added it to the uh, agenda as a next step for you, Sean. All right, thank you. I stopped my sharing. Sure. Okay. Um, so the next item I will share again. So the next item, it looks like um, new models in development. Do we want to bring up any of those? Talk about that. Or do we want to jump down here to the welcomingness metrics model? Yeah, we can jump. We can. Um, I'm not aware of any new models that are in development. Are there that um, other than the ones we've already discussed? New models in uh, development? Not, not, not today. Maybe we do have some metrics model uh, uh, implementation, but uh, okay. we, we we haven't uh, make it ready yet. Okay. Actually, because we already have def we already have defined a lot of metrics model in our yeah. Google Docs. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is that we, I, we try to add more implementations for this existed metrics models, like we already done for funding, for community activities, and for the, for the uh, project safety. We, we, try, we are trying to, to add all the implementations for, for those metrics models, actually. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, let's see here. Go here to this is you, Sean, right? Yeah. So all I'm all I wanted to do is provide an update that I've gone through and figured out how to convert the community welcoming this metrics model into the format that we've agreed to with uh, data focus. Uh, I guess. I guess go go to implementations in here, Elizabeth. Okay. Do you want to share? Um, no, no, this is good. Okay. And then click community welcoming this. So I've created the the data folder, and I need to create again the algorithms folder and the insights folder. But so I started to just refactor this metrics model to use the format that we've created, and I've identified how to do it all. And I'm going to hand it off to a student to finish all of the grunt work <laughs> um, <laughs> related to that conversion. And then we'll also have a built-in set of tools for building auger-based metrics models following the format that we specified from the start. Awesome. So, and so I'm showing you in a different repository just because that's where I forked it to. Sure. And it's not finished yet because I'm going to have someone else finish it. I think okay. for the event setup, we, we can we can share this, sh share it, share it for the, all the uh, Jupyter implementation. I mean, for the requirements and uh, this one, yeah. The oh, last the, re one. the requirements that text file. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't need to be in the in the metric level. I agree. Yep. Yeah. So just to clarify, where would the metrics model template information go? So I know about this wel welcoming this model, like where would um, that So I'm, the template, I go, if you look in, um, go back to implementations mm -hmm. and uh, click community activity. So community activity has effectively implemented the the templated structure with three folders for three distinct things. I don't know if you go back to implementations, I think that readme maybe gives us scroll down. Yeah, so this kind of explains it. Um, yeah, this explains it pretty well, actually. Okay, kind of I, I was thinking more template. of like, yeah, okay. Um, like, where is the template for that model? Go. I think I think it should be the definition part. Um, when we define this metrics model and we 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 will start with this metrics model template, we def we define this metrics model there. Yeah. 
So there, there, okay. So there will be another folder that says definition based on this. Right. Exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. The, the second, the second, the second slide is showing Ooh. like. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the right part. We, we, we have definition part and we have uh, implementation part. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, I see. So then the revised structure, Yahoo would, I, now I'm following even better uh, yeah. on the slide. There'd be a, under community activity, there'd be a definition folder and an implementations folder. And then okay. under then community have, wellness. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So now I'm, now I completely get it. I'm going to move that around in my fork right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked in. <laughs> All right. Okay, things make sense to me now. Okay. <laughs> it all comes together. All right. Um, did you want to talk any more about that, Sean? No, that, that was it for that update. Okay. Um, so we have 10 minutes left and um, Matt has one final item on our agenda, which is a branding question. Um, do we want to um, brand, I, I'm assuming this is what this means. Do we want to have a specific brand around Chaos Asia Pacific as its community? Um, because we're kind of starting to see pockets of community growth. And so, um, you know, you, you all have your own tools that you're using, your own, um, you know, podcast, all of that. Do we want to talk about how we make that more of a, more of an entity underneath the chaos umbrella? Does that make sense? Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think that's a good question. Uh, because I, I'm thinking of the, uh, for example, Uban, uh, Ubuntu, that's a big, uh, big uh, Linux uh, distribution community, mm, and uh, start from the like twenty years ago, and with its growth, many many people from different countries, and uh, they would like to make this Ubuntu like uh, localization more friendly. Mm -hmm. So exactly. So, so I think it's 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 one direction. We can we can make more thinking about it, and uh, I don't I do not think we can make we can make any decision right now. Right. I, I would like to, yeah, I would like to discuss more with uh, with with you with Shane and with different guys from the community, and also maintains. Uh, we would like to get more connections with the people in China and in some other country like India, friends, fr friends from India and Japan. So, so give us a little bit time and mm -hmm. uh, we're trying yeah. to set up everything because uh, in, in after, after like uh, June, uh, July or August, we are gonna have our uh, chaos summit in China this year Excellent. so I, I think that's a good chance to talk talk this topic with more people to 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 get more thinkings and ideas from from those guys and also many times we can have more discussion in the community meetings with you guys together yeah i, I agree with Yehui. so we can uh, we can talk about the next step uh, about the chaos summit in China, uh, we still have seven seven minutes, so maybe we can talk about this topic, the chaos summit in China. Yeah. And uh, yeah. branding. Uh, yeah, yes, it is summit. So about the best, we can talk on the summit. Yeah, it's input. Uh, we can get the input of the branding. And uh, later we can share the uh, suggestion and uh, advice uh, back to the chaos community with you, all of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to take whatever information and and spread that spread the word for sure. Do we have a um, a link yet, or any kind of event registration? Any of that is set up? 
yet? Uh, not, 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 not yet. You will go ahead. No, I mean, not, not yet. Okay, no worries. So we can, we can talk about the cities, the location, and uh, some topic. Uh, for example, if you Elizabeth and uh, share, and then don't forget, and then Matt, if you want to share, you can make a video, and then we can broadcast it uh, uh, on, the, on the summit first. And uh, Ye Hui and the Zhong Jun and the Shan Chen and Ni Wu and other, for example, the Nanjing University is Mr. Wang. We can share, uh, we, yeah, we can have a presentation on the, on the meeting. Yeah. yeah, sounds great. That's yeah. exciting. So, yeah, whenever you're ready to. Um, have us share details out. Just let me know. Not a problem at all. Happy to do that. Well, yeah, you know, the first uh, chaos, uh, chaos uh, meetup we, hold, uh, we held it in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, second, uh, we held it in Beijing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the Shanghai is locked down now, but uh, I think it's reopened very soon. And uh, maybe the third time we can hold it in uh, uh, in Shenzhen or Guangzhou or other cities, uh, so that we can cover more and more people, right, in the different, uh, uh, different uh, summit. Yeah, maybe Nanjing is a good choice. You know, the Nanjing University is uh, Mr. Wang is in Nanjing. <laughs> <laughs> Nanjing is good, good place. Yeah. I, I totally agree on that. <laughs> and I put that in the minutes, that, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> we'll write it down. And then he's locked in. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we open Kale's uh, China weekly meeting uh, last year. But, but this year, why we don't have uh, why we don't have a weekly meeting in China? Because we have a lot of yeah. friends who support who support this weekly meeting. Uh, is in Shanghai. All those guys are locked down in this city. Yeah. It's too long time for for these friends to to continue this work during the you know such situation. But I hope after yeah. Shanghai recovered from COVID. Uh, everything will be uh, soon covered and recover. And like this uh, weekly meeting, we can hold it later. Maybe. Yeah. yeah hope well, so. Hope we can reopen it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Our other, so is Shanghai, sorry, I should know this, but I don't. Um, is, is Shanghai the, the the only one that's locked down right now, or are there other cities that are still? Uh, yeah, actually today it's the first day uh, Shanghai is reopened after 70 days. Oh, oh okay. Lockdown. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so Shanghai's people, our friends in Shanghai still need some time to recover for gotcha. this long, 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 long time lockdown. Got you. So they are uh, technically open now, you're saying, whoops. Mm -hmm. But they just opened. Yeah, you know, the Zhongjun is in Chengdu and uh, Chenqi is in Beijing. Yeah, so we have a diversity uh, people in the China. And uh, so we can play it. And we can repair it more easily than uh, than last the two times last the two times the meetup, yeah. Because uh, the for example, first time uh, we start uh, we start our meetup in Shanghai, uh, because of the uh, Xiaoya is in Shanghai, mm -hmm. uh, she can uh, she can help prepare the meetup, 
Yeah. So we we are now have more and more people in different location, different city in China. I think it's more easier than than before. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a bullet train from Shanghai to Beijing. So. World's fastest train. Yeah. You call it bullet. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, in the, yeah, that's how, <laughs> what we call it in English. The bullet train. It's made loud. Okay. Three hundred some miles per hour. It's, yeah, yeah kilometers. Three hundred. Yeah. So it sounds like with this is this summer. Are you is are I guess I'm a little bit uncertain if if this summer. What would the participation from folks outside Asia Pacific possibly be? Sounds like not, or uh, I, 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 I cannot uh, say that right now because yeah, we, uh, yeah. You know, we, fair enough. It's, it's not everything's even, changing even the, really fast. Yeah, yeah. Even for Hong Kong, we cannot have a very um, straight. Uh, we like uh, like like two years ago, right? We have to apply for it very long time. So people from Hong Kong or people from from mainland could could uh, could uh, communicate with each other. Okay. To, to be yeah. All right. I think even if they do open it up, given given China's policy on kind of the no COVID strategy and immediately yeah. locking down anybody who goes risks getting kind of stuck there for long stuck. periods of time. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Okay, outbreak, exactly. which is a pretty big risk to take for people That's outside a, of China. Yeah, it's a big risk for people inside of China. Fair, frankly. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Thank you for breaking that down for me, Don. <laughs> so maybe if there is um, participation from speakers outside of China, it will be a virtual, yeah, thing or pre-recorded something like that. But we can sort all of that out because yeah. um, we're out of time. So. Yeah. Thanks everybody All for right. being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.